What's going on guys? It's Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video. Um, I am sorry. I know I said I was going to be posting more. I went through a couple of uh, medical tests so I've been out for a little bit but I'm back so I promise they're going to keep coming. So today I have an unboxing and first impressions of the Xbox One Armed Forces wireless controller. Um, I picked this up at GameStop after I traded in some stuff that I didn't need anymore. So I needed another controller and I didn't want just another, you know, black one. Wanted to differentiate when people came over so we can, someone can use one every time and I can use one every time. You know how it is. You give the crappy one to your little brother, however it is. So, okay. So, this was $64.99 at GameStop. Um, I don't particularly think GameStop's the best place. It's not my favorite. It's just when you need to trade in stuff and you don't want to sell everything separately through eBay or they're having a deal. Like right now, they started a deal where it's 50% trade credit for any games or accessories, which is awesome. Um, so, you know, a $20 game will bring you $30. Or a $30 game for one of the newer ones would get you $45. So it's not a bad deal. Uh, Target did that a while back, and I got $50 for Grand Theft Auto after I had had it for almost a year for my 360. So, all right. So on the back of the box, you just have a picture, um, just some words about elevating your game, whatever. What it includes: a couple of batteries, the controller itself, uh, and then just another picture on this side of the controller as well. Boxes like these are always like have this puffy feel and look to them. I'm not sure why, but they do. And yeah, so there's only one little tab spot to open up, which is right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hold on. Let me grab this knife here. I'm gonna cut that. Should open easily, which it does. Okay. All right, and it just sits there like that. Uh, Microsoft really changed their packaging quite a bit once the Xbox One came out. Everything's very minimalistic. Not, I wouldn't say as much as Apple's stuff is, but definitely feels that way. I got the controller for the media remote for the Xbox One, and it had that. You know, everything fits identically to its packaging. It's not loose in there at all. Um, it protects it fine and doesn't need a bunch of stuff with it, so I like it. I like packaging like that that's set up nicely. Uh, it just shows that something was put into it extra and it protects it too. So here's the controller. Looks really cool to me. Um, some people might not like it. It has the silver D-pad. So all the controller buttons and everything are all the same color. So here, give you an idea. Looks the same. The connect button to connect it to the actual system is orange when nothing else is besides um, no nothing else so back looks the same except this wraps around to the sides a little bit but still same black as the normal black one uh, and it comes with two batteries which is awesome I had a charge kit for a while that's one of the things I actually just traded in it was always weird the way that it worked it worked but I don't know it just bugged me sometimes the cord was too short so I just switched back to batteries, haven't had any issues since. Um, I have a PS4 too, so that one I can charge whenever and I just switch back and forth and I just got a pack of batteries finally. It lasts forever in this controller, uh, so I don't have any issues really with it. But there's that. Here are the batteries. Take that out. And then underneath we just have quick start guide, instructional booklet on how to connect it and how to update it and stuff like that. So. Everyone should know that. Pretty easy. PS4 is pretty hard. Just found that out the other day when I got a new controller. It sucks connecting a PS4 controller. Not all the time, but so many threads online talking about how hard it is, and I understood why because it's it was so frustrating trying to play a game with my friend that came over. So there is that. Get it out of the way. So first impressions. It's very nice. I like it. It's comfortable. Uh, the black one is nice too. There were some weird ones like the day one controllers that I didn't have. Everybody was saying the build quality wasn't the best. Uh, 
I noticed that when I got the Titanfall controller, or I'm sorry, the uh, Call of Duty controller. But I took that one back because I didn't feel justified in the price when I first got it. Um, but this feels kind of like that. It's nice and smooth. Feels like has great build quality. This black one that I showed earlier, I, it's actually a replacement one. I don't know if they send you a refurbished one or a brand new one, but my right thumbstick was wandering uh, when I was playing. So this is a replacement. It feels super solid. Everything's very clicky. Sticks are very tight. Same with this. I like it. It's nice. I can finally have two controllers and differentiate between the two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching the video. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific you want to see. I always usually get random things here and there and I'll start making videos on what I think and just, you know, on different technology. So phones, tablets, you know, games, anything like that. So. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see stuff like that. And if not, then thanks for watching anyways. See you later.